Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Uh, today is just a quick episode, um, a little bit of a review of a camera strap that I've been using recently. So I've been a photographer for years, um, like 10, 12 years. And um, I've always loved photography, and especially when I'm out on the bike. And mostly that's been with my phone, um, because I have it on me, which is great. But over the last year and a half, two years, I've made the transition from shooting with digital SLRs to shooting with mirrorless cameras. So I now shoot with um, a Fuji X-T4 and a Fuji X-T3 uh, out of a few different lenses, but one of the lenses I have is the 16 to 55 millimeter 2.8 lens, which I keep on my X-T4 most of the time. And that's the lens I've been using to vlog with. So as I've made the switch to mirrorless, um, it means that the camera's a bit lighter, a bit smaller. I can take it out on the bike with me to take photographs when I'm on the bike, but also to shoot vlogs and shoot video when I'm on the bike as well. Um, but I needed to get a, a strap that was comfortable and secure and held the camera, because it's still heavy enough um, to, to take out. So I was looking for a strap to carry this camera when I'm on the bike. Also usually have a mic on top of it here as well, but the mic's currently on this camera that I'm recording on, the X-T3. I've used a couple of straps, um, and I've recently been using um, a camera strap from a company in Europe called Reel. So I just want to have a quick chat about the Reel camera strap. So I found out about the Reel strap from another uh, YouTuber, a guy in Martijn based in the Netherlands. His YouTube channel is Fernwee. I'll put a link to it down below. So him and, and a friend, Patrick, kind of came up with this strap because they couldn't find anything else out there available that suited what they needed. So they kind of made their own. So technically the real strap is just this. It's just a little stabilizer strap, which you can use with any camera strap at all that you already have. Um, so that right away makes it brilliant. You don't have to buy a whole camera strap system and um, you can use it with any camera strap that you have. But you can also buy it along with like a 95 centimeter nylon camera strap. But effectively the real strap is just this little stabilizer strap which has a magnetic clasp in the middle to allow you to open and close when you need. And you loop one end through your existing strap and clip the other end onto your camera. The design of this is super simple and super minimalist, which, which appeals to me, I really love it. Um, it's not complicated. Um, it works on any shoulder, whatever way you want to carry your camera, it works. There isn't loads of spare material, so it's really, that's about it. There's not loads of spare material, so you don't have straps flying everywhere when you're riding um, with this on. Like I say, you can use it with any existing camera strap. And because it's just a simple kind of clip at this end, you can really use it um, with any camera strap system. So if you have a peak design clip or something like that, you could use it with that if you wanted. I use it just with a couple of O-rings on the end of this strap on the camera, and I'll show you that in a second. When you have it on your body, um, it's really easy to just adjust where it sits and how tight it is, and just by moving, the strap up and down and easy to adjust the camera on your back. It's really comfortable, nothing kind of is sticking into you or has any pressure points, so it's really, really comfortable, which obviously is important, especially if you're going on longer rides and want to take your camera with you, it's really important that it's comfortable. The quality of this is really, really high quality. Um, decent rivets there. Uh, the stitching is excellent, it's got a good solid clip. The magnetic clasp, the magnetic clasp on it is really strong. I'm pulling pretty hard on that, but it's not coming apart. But yeah, at the same time with the right movement, it's really easy to open. Which makes it easy to get the camera round and on and off while you're on the bike. Because it works with any camera strap and is removable with this little loop, it means that when you're not using it on the bike, you can just loop this off and then just use your strap as a normal camera strap, which is brilliant, especially if you are somebody who uses your camera off the bike a lot as well as on the bike. But again, because there's not really much to this design, I tend to just keep it on my strap all the time and then just use it as a normal camera strap. 
which is brilliant. It's also really good if you're going for a hike or anything like that because it just gives you that extra bit of stabilization while carrying the camera. Like I said, you can buy it on its own and use it with any camera strap you have, but I bought it with the 95 millimeter nylon strap as well. And again, the design of this is just so simple and it looks so good that I just use this as a regular camera strap now. The only point that I would make about the 95 centimeter nylon strap that you can get with it is that this is not adjustable. I'm a smaller rider, so I find with this 95 centimeter strap, the camera sits a little bit low on my back, which is a little bit of a niggle, um, but it's not the end of the world. But these two straps, the real stabilizer combined with this camera strap, it's almost perfect for, for what I want on the bike. I haven't been paid to say this or make this video in any way. I just really, really love what the guys at Real have done in making this really simple, easy to use, good looking, functional strap. Like I say, the setup is really easy. You just loop one end of your strap through the loop here. Yeah. And then connect that into your camera. O-rings can be a little bit fiddly, so you might want to get a couple of little clips or something if that's easier. So that's hooked on now. You just clip the, the other little catch into the same point where the camera attaches on this side. Once you've got it all connected up, it's just a matter of putting it over your shoulder, around your back. In case you're wondering why I'm wearing my cycling jersey with a pair of jeans, it's so I can show you how this sits with a, with a cycling jersey. How kind of secure that is. Really easy to adjust um, where it sits just by moving that loop. You can see where it sits on my back there. So yeah, really simple design. Really nice strap. So yeah, I highly recommend if you're looking for a camera strap to take your camera on the bike that you consider checking out the real strap. You can get it from two places. You can get it from the real store for 39 euros. I'll put a link down below. Or you can get it from Fernwee's Ride Beyond Cruise store um, where you can buy it as a stabilizing strap on its own or you can buy it with that extra 95 centimeter camera strap for 59 euros, I think. Thank you for watching another video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit like, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you're subscribed, press the little bell icon. That means whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified and you can check it out right away. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.